creation splendor speaks of who you are. You are salvation. You are the joy of the earth. Restoration comes, hope of the broken when we record a lot of our albums, we'll tell stories behind the songs, like how a song was written, or when we perform a concert, we'll give a story behind a hymn, you know, or some other song, and was just curious, how did you guys write Hope of the Broken World? Is there a story behind it? What was your point? How did it come about? We've been studying uh, um, Genesis at my church, and uh, just how, you know, the, the process of, you know, of creation, fall, redemption, how that is over and over, a theme in the scriptures. And I was just living, you know, kind of in that, in that space of like creation, you know. So I thought, hey, what, a, what about writing a song that sort of has... Beautiful melody, you did. Oh, you that's with, really nice. Music. You know, you came with a beautiful melody, and yeah, I. It's been... okay. It's average. <laughs> we, we went ahead and recorded it, but you know, it is incredible. Oh, and incredible. I had been thinking along the same terms, actually. I've, I've been wanting so badly for the, for the church to understand who she is in Christ, and begin to, not just pray in a Lord help me way, but begin to speak His word over the earth. And so, I'd had the idea of let there be light in my heart for the church to speak over the earth, and specifically the idea that the same God who hovered in the beginning over chaos and darkness and void is the same God that still comes and broods over our own despair, chaos, and darkness, and births brand new things that are orderly and full of His light and life. So it just kind of worked together. When I sing the song, uh, there's kind of two things that come to mind. Is one, the the power and majesty of God, His, His sovereignty as far as creation goes. But as far as what is going on today, you know, when you look at what's happened, uh, what's going on in the Middle East, what's going on in Japan, uh, I grew up in Africa, you know, and so there's, uh, in the east side of Congo where, I, where we live, there's just so many problems, there's so much chaos, and if there was ever a time where we needed hope, where we needed Christ, where we needed Him to return, yeah. it's now, you know, and so I think it's, it's so poignant what, what the song talks about. I mean, the fact that he sees us in our, in our daily life and brings order, brings himself into something as simple as just our life with our kids. I have four, so I know what he's living through right now. <laughs> and, um, but then over Japan, you know, the devastation there, it's the same God, he has not changed. Mm -hmm. And it looks impossible and it looks huge, but our God can come and restore order into those broken people's lives. Mm -hmm. He can, and we pray that he will. Mm -hmm. And I pray that he uses y'all there and carries you far and wide. Into my chaos comes your promise, the new is rising. The old is passed on, you are reviving and making all things right. What's your hope for this song when people, uh, when people hear it? What do you picture? I hope that it comes alive in them. I really long to see us as the bride move beyond just God help me personally okay. into the reality that the fountainhead of glory lives in us. And so every single place we walk should bud, bloom, flourish, and rise. And begin to be the agent on the earth, the bride. I, I, I see us all growing up in Him. And I just, I thrill when I see it take root in her heart like a teacher does when they see the light strong as a student. I think with Hope of the Broken World, for me it's kind of like Be Still My Soul. It's a song where you're just supposed to sit and be quiet and you know, I hope people sing along with us when we, when we actually do it, but it is, it's one of those songs for me that's just very reflective and it's a time to just be still and listen and remember who He is and how awesome He is. You want people to sing along so that they're engaging. You, it makes you feel good as an artist yeah. when you're singing and they're singing along and stuff. And that didn't happen right away with this song. And we thought, oh no. But when you kind of sense the feeling and the, and the spirit in the room, in the presence of God, they are they are sitting and they are soaking in it. And, and, and when it's over, it's like, oh, there's this feeling. And then it's like, whoa. Presence of the Lord just came.
In ancient Hebrew, there's no word for chance. There's no word for luck. Basically, everything happens for a purpose. And uh, Mike, who works with Integrity, happened to be on a flight with us going back to Nashville, and he was sitting right next to Alan, who's in our group. And they start talking, and Mike says, you know, I'd love to hook you up with Jenny Lee Riddle to write together. You know, if you guys can do it, and I couldn't make it, but Alan could. So he gets together with you, and you know, this chance meeting with Mike on this plane, in this seat, da 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 da. That's and then amazing, I didn't know that. You, used to, you two start talking uh, as you're writing. Come to find out you have a huge folder. Huge is probably much. Okay, well I'm gonna say huge anyway. So you have this folder of music for Sela that I've you have loved never for sent. So long. I've Here you loved are, this amazing so writer. <laughs> Why did you not send the songs to us before? Well, I have the opportunity to now. <laughs> but that doesn't answer the but question. I don't know. I don't know. I never took it seriously in a, not in a, I took my writing seriously, but I never thought anybody else would take it seriously. And um, I've loved y'all for years and years and years. And I sang all your songs, my little trio, a decade ago, two, three, actually 15 years ago, 16 years ago. Anyway, loved y'all's music. And I would write stuff with y'all's voices in my head. So <laughs> it's so cool to know you now and be your friend. Well, and then come to find out you had this whole folder. Alan was like, send it to us. And you sent us three songs, including Hope of the Broken World, and we cut every single one of them. And uh, so yeah, amazing, amazing talent. But I think that's so Excellent. interesting how things, you think things just kind of happen, you know? And there are definitely times where you have to make things happen. But there are so many times too where it's really out of your control, or you don't know, you don't really know where you're going. and then. You look back and you go, yeah, okay, this was, there was a plan here. And uh, just with that song and That's with us cool. doing this today, happened because Mike talked with Alan on the plane. Yes, restoration comes, hope of the broken world. Into my weakness, into my darkness, your spirit's moving upon my heart and you speak the words. Let there be light.